day starts. Colin's uh, getting a shot of the bakery where we're having lunch. Then we're going to head off, uh, we're in Goulburn at the moment. We're going to head off down to Marimbula now through Canberra. Colin and I are sitting at Marimbula Airport this morning. We're driving past and uh, I asked Colin if you want to go for a bit of a fly. Because uh, we can go for a fly over the area. Uh, not within the budget, but Colin's got a bit extra spending money. So we're going to jump up in that plane this morning. And it's an absolute perfect day. We're in for rain later this week. So we thought, let's try and do it if we can. Earlier this week, and Colin was all go. So we thought, well, why not? So we're having a coffee and a bit of cake while they prep the aircraft. And then we're up uh, flying over the area. Now, Colin and I haven't been on that flight yet. They had a little bit of maintenance on the plane. So we've come to Pottery Palace. And this is Chuffy. Yeah. Chuffy the Choff. So she looks like a crow, but uh, can you see Chuffy through there? Maybe not. But there you go. Yeah, the Potteroo station, which usually has a little train that goes through there, apparently is closed, so we may not be getting on the train today. They might turn it on a bit later. Certainly at the moment it's not. come right up to the fence with us having a chat just how close we are like i can go right over the top of him yeah. that's him there that's amazing yeah. that's really cool yeah. they're usually hidden away this little guy here he's having a sniff come up to say good day what are you after you asked some snacks or something so again, we're up nice and close. So you can see how close Colin is to a wallaby. It's, uh, yeah, they're quite interesting. It's good the animals are actually coming up to us, which is nice. Here's our little friend having a sniff around, the quoll. Usually they're nocturnal, so it's uh, pretty cool to be able to see her out in the daytime, which is great. Obviously out exercising, that's what it is, early morning run. What they were saying before, trust me. Now they've got stage fright because I've got the camera on them. <laughs> These other two kangaroos are just relaxing in the uh, semi sun, taking it easy. So Colin and I, we're going up in this aircraft today, going up for a bit of a joy flight. Should be good fun. Colin's in. Walker's going to be parked here because we can't fit it in the aircraft. And William, the amazing pilot, he's looking after us. So now we're in our aircraft. It's nice and snug and warm. It is nice and snug. <laughs> so uh, don't breathe too much. No. But we're just flying. It doesn't matter. So we're down at the back beach, or short point it's called, overlooking the water. We've just flown over here. It's a magnificent flight too. We're looking for whales, but there's no whales out there at the moment. Apparently the whales are going north and they're a bit harder to see. When they're coming south, when they've got their calves, they're a bit easier to see. Well, this morning we're down at Pambula Beach. We're just having a bit of a wander around. I was just saying to Colin that last time I was here, this whole roundabout area wasn't here. And usually at Christmas time, the caravan park behind us there is absolutely chock-a-block. Christmas time and Easter and most school holidays. You struggle to get a... Uh, a car park or anything here but at the moment it's just pleasant it's uh no one's around it's very nice really good thing about pambula beach is it's got this uh, accessible track and in summer apparently put a uh, another mat down that gets you right down to the water it's not raining today which is great it's not meant to rain we had rain overnight hopefully it uh, stays fine for us so we're heading up for we've left marimbula we're heading up towards wollongong for tonight we've stopped off Bought some uh, nice bread and we're eating some of the ham and the cheese we bought yesterday at Tilba for lunch. So, uh, <coughs> Cloud's over there looking fairly ominous. We're still searching for whales. 
You never know your luck. You've got to keep looking. Clamshell just here. So we're down at the uh, Marimbula Aquarium, having a wander around with all the many fishies. We've just read here that the uh, these fish here, they're from uh, the Barrier Reef, it seems. And they're talking, well, maybe not from Barrier Reef, but they're certainly up around that area. And that is 23,000 square kilometres in size, the Barrier Reef. Very, very big. Many, many fish in here. So a very unusual afternoon tea here at Wheeler's Oysters. We're having cake with a combination of oysters. We might have our oysters after we've had our cake though. Colin's already got into his, then we're he's having a coffee and I'm having a hot chocolate. We're in the Figa Heritage Museum now and we're just looking at these photos, these old photos. People never smiled in them. They've got some of the most beautiful frames though. Mm, yeah. But uh, they're all fairly serious, these people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just the way they were. That was life back then. A tough life, no doubt, around this area. Some of the photographic gear, no doubt. Projector. Yeah, had the big flash where you had a lot of a lot of a flame or something, didn't they, Colin? They had a big sort of poof, and then that'd take your photo. Yeah. Reminds me of the TV shows, A Step Back in Time, where people had to cook in all different ways, and they show them back up through the years. <laughs> snack or a big snack. Fishing boats out here just waiting obviously they've been out for the morning or yeah. the night or whatever and they've come back in and yeah. loaded up the uh, the co-op here. Yeah. So this is where we had lunch. Yeah. So off on a whale watching cruise today. I've got Jo because uh, I'm not great with boats so she's walking along with Colin and uh, hopefully they'll see some whales. Been searching for them for last week, so fingers crossed we catch some out, or they see some out in the water. So Colin and Joe are on the uh, catamaran there, so it looks like a pretty comfortable little uh, setup. So hopefully they see some whales out there today. We are downtown Tilda this morning. We're going to the markets, which is just inside here. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> skeleton. Old Tom used to help them or get the whalers. He would herd the baleen whales into Twofold Bay which is just behind us in the water obviously. We're not in the water. And uh, he would round up the whales so the whalers would come down, harpoon the whales. The killer whales would eat the tongue which weighed up to four tons and uh, the whalers would take the rest of the whale. So it was a perfect match. Tien Temple in Wollongong and uh, we thought uh, we'd come and have a look at this, get a bit of culture into us, so let's go exploring. Up the steps of the temple into uh, I think the main area, we're going to cheat, we're going to up the lift because there's too many steps for us. Beautiful building. We've just had, I've had a coconut coffee and uh, Colin had a normal cappuccino, it's very tasty. This 
We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again, pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want this time, I won't take it to the heart. Yeah, tell me what you want 